Hello, everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic 2. And we have a BAM box. And a BAM box. And another BAM box, but just one. Our cutie likes the BAM box. What are you doing? Our cutie likes the BAM box. And I do, too. I do, too. Because it's the BAM box. Didn't quite turn out like I expected, but you actually are very good at ad-libbing. Okay, you know, you wouldn't sing, you wouldn't meow, and all you want to do now is play with this? I don't think so. Shoo, shoo. It's not going nowhere. Okay, so, for your opening pleasure, hiding my, my address, because no one could find it online, um, we're going to open this BAM box, which looks like the top of the former BAM box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what band box no pop is. In it. No, no t-shirt. <laughs> Might be a t-shirt, but it can't. You know, whatever. And we didn't do a song for this one. Oh, there's my address again. Oh, they don't have an address on here. What if this isn't even mine? Oh, here it is. Okay. Hot topic. It's a big box. A big, big box. What is this, Bill? It's a big box. <laughs> and we are now retiring our theme song <laughs> forever. Cat's taking his paws off her ears. Hello. I'm Squeaks. It's about time. I've got people had tummy aches around here. <laughs> Uh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> She's not funny anymore. Okay, so what should we do first? The BAM box, which is probably... Oh, probably crap. What? <laughs> you know, they could be watching. We don't know who watches us. Are you watching? Is anybody watching? Hello? No, nobody there. He says, I'm not watching. Okay, we'll cut this one open without cutting you, or especially cutting me. Oops, I got here. <laughs> so this is from Hot Topic, and as requested on Sunday by um, some subscribers that were in the, um, thank you, that were in the, <laughs> that were in the, ch the live chat, People apparently want me to open, want me to open the boxes live. Well, it's not live, but you know what I mean. So, Bill opened it, kind of, sort of. Bill, what the heck? Don't ask a man to do a job that a woman can do three or four times as better, as good. For you. I had a problem in the <laughs> in the bathroom while I was doing my hair. Went all over the floor. And it's your fault. <laughs> okay, we keep having this thing about oh, these are my things, those are your things, this is my spray stuff. Don't take my don't take listen to me. <sighs> don't take my detangler and spray the whole bottle on your head thinking that's what it was for. No, it was for me, the one who actually has some hair. I don't use it. No, because it's gone. You used it all at one time. Oh, lie about it, Bill. Go ahead. I haven't used it in ages. That's okay. Must have been a cat to use it. We didn't have a cat. Anyways, so today I was in there, and of course stuff was everywhere. I have some of my stuff on top, some of it below. I don't know what happens to it. I have to be careful which deodorant I use. And today, yes, today I picked up what I thought was the, <laughs> the detangler and sprayed it in this section of my hair right here. Then I looked at the bottle. 
And it was for <laughs> Jock Itch or whatever that is called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. What's it called? It's for rashes. Low Tremint. It was Low Tremint. Jock Itch. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you messed up our song and now... Anyway, so if all of a sudden my hair just starts flying through the air like that, don't be surprised. Actually, I'll just tell you this, especially if you're new, don't be surprised but by anything that comes out of my mouth and his mouth can do it too. The only one around here who's normal is the cat. And we're working on her. Okay, we have an open box with all kinds of little play pretties in it. Oh, this is only one item. Really? Uh, Disney's Aladdin. How's your Aladdin box? Get an Aladdin box. Shut up. Now you made me maybe know what it was. Well, I don't think it's the Aladdin box, but it, there's a big sorter box in here. I've given up on rides and stuff. Why did I get this? Ow. Ow. Dun 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 It's a shark. Did you guys not know, not realize that was the noise for the shark when he comes on? No. Dun 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 Shut up. Oh. This is a nine. Without the tank, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one without the tank. I did order the one with the tank. I don't know why one isn't um um you know uh uh exclusive and not to target. Target's okay though. It's just a little harder. Both sharks are in this set, one with and one without the tank of air, the um, breathing, what does that say? Biting tank. <laughs> it's the shark biting the tank. Silly shark. So this is like, since I started collecting... I was looking on eBay, seeing, oh, what is there I could get? What is there I could buy? Because I want to get, you know, stuff. And I saw the old Jaws one, the, the first one, and it was so expensive. I'm like, oh, I wish I started collecting sooner. I should just buy it anyways and hide it from Bill. <laughs> but I didn't. And now it's the Great White Shark from Jaws. And I got one with the, with, this is the one without, without, he, he is not biting a big can of O2. Ow. Cats. You. Gotta love them. So I wanted this one so bad, and I want, wanted the Iron Throne so bad. And now I've got some Iron Thrones, but they have people I don't even know on them. Of course, I will start watching them. What are you doing? Why are you on your back? <laughs> With your rear paws up in the air around your ears. She's got my, my ring. She's literally got my ring. Let go. Ah. Had her, had her claw right in my ring. Anyways, so this gets tugged this way. Now it's being pulled that way. Anyways, this is an awesome pop. I am really excited. I would take it out, but then it would just look like a cheap plastic kid's toy. <laughs> I'm, oh my God. Okay. See... Something's got to give here. Because Mama's hair hurts. What? It's 
stop biting me. You know, I took such good care of you today when you were in the doctors. Yes, I did. I saved you from the dogs and those two great big cats that were blue. And what else? Mommy got you the little, the little towel that was sprayed with the pheromones or whatever they are. She to... gave me a shot and a tube up the butt. I wasn't going to say that. They wanted me to hold her while she, while she was given a temperature was was taken, so I held her like this. <laughs> She's really more like that. And then they wanted so cute. They wanted me to hold her like this while they gave her the shot, and she was just struggling and sad. And when the shot last shot was off, she just kind of went uh. And she's been sleeping up until about 20 minutes or an hour ago or something. Now it's time to play again. But Mama's not a play it's toy, and I've got work to do. Mama's it's working. Mama. Mama's working. Mama's got her own TV show. <laughs> okay, so Mama's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, you're going to... Okay, say you're sorry. That's half sorry. Nope. Say you're sorry. That's only half sorry. That's only half sorry. Say you're sorry. Please. Oh, that was almost your sorry. She goes and wipes her face. No matter what I ask her to do, it's the same thing. But to me, it means something. So anyways, this is, this is Bruce, which is really what they called him on the set. And, um... The first time I saw Jaws. Everybody should write down below the first time you saw Jaws, where you were, what you thought, were you horrified, have you ever gone to the beach again? I was working at a drive-in theater that was one of those, like, $5, and everybody in your car could come in, even the guys in your trunk. And um, they needed people at another drive-in theater because they were showing Jaws. So everybody was sneaking out, and it was, it was crowded to where you could not see the back. So we were told we couldn't have breaks. However, knowing my rights, <laughs> I said, we get, uh-oh, that's better. We get a 15-minute break for every two hours and a lunch break for our half an hour in between one of those. And I got the evil eye. Why is that like that? Here, come in. I don't know why it's doing that. Is it better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who are you looking at? <laughs> so anyways, we would sneak back there just to see anything. And one of the scenes I, was man I managed to get was when, um, they just showed it on TV too, um, was when uh, the diver that, that um, Dreyfus? Yeah, Richard Dreyfus plays. And he goes down because they're looking for the shark or something and somebody's boat has sank. So he goes down in there and while he's fooling around, this guy's head pops up. And, of course, you could hear squealing all over the place. And I started laughing because it's an old gag. <laughs> a lot of movies have used that since silent films. So I, I just was like, oh, this movie. Hmm. And then I got to come out for lunch, half an hour of that film. And it was just juicy and awful and scary. And I don't like the water anyway. I like to be in boats or ships, preferably big, huge cruise ships <laughs> in Alaska. Hit me with the biggest storm you got because I like it. But no, not like in a little sailboat or something. It's not my thing. We've got a band box, pretty, pretty band box. Here, open the band box. Anyways, that's how I first saw Jaws, and I actually got um, to go in after, the rule was, after the first week, you could uh, 
you know, if it was a big film, you could go in after the first week was over. Well, we had to wait two weeks because it was just horrible. And I was working three jobs, so when I was cooking one time, and by cooking I mean putting pizzas, frozen pizzas, into the microwave and turning them on five. I don't know if it was supposed to be seconds or minutes, but I use seconds because it seems to cook longer. <laughs> What's wrong? It's right here. Wait, wait. It's right here. Did you open that one? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. If there's a t-shirt in there and you cut it, woe be to you, because that'd be the only thing good I got today besides a shark. But anyways, I was doing just fine, and I look outside, and there's, you know, it's, it's my old place where I work. I don't know if this is upside down or what. Okay. Apparently... Oh, this is the horror box. What the hell? I don't know why. I, I don't know. Yeah, it did pay for this. I can't push it forward because it's all going to fall. Okay, I can see what... You can see my shame. Anyways, a guy came in. Now, we had these jobs. We all got hired at the same time because the former crew were gunned down by some guys that came in to, uh, to, um, yeah, to rob the place. And the, the lady, who actually still wor worked there because she was, she managed to get into the office and lock the door. But, um, <laughs> okay. Oh! Anyways, um, yeah, so most of the old crew is dead. Sad but true. So I'm looking outside to see, well, how many potential pizzas do I have to get ready? Or hot dogs. Uh, that's really all I had to cook. And this drunken man, drunker than I've ever seen in my life, including my first husband, whom I hadn't even met yet, including uh, everybody in my family that drank, which was a couple, men mostly. I've never seen Bill that drunk. I've seen him drunk a few times. When we met, he stopped drinking because I didn't like drunks or crazy people. Anyway, <laughs> he came in, didn't stand in line. He went where there was nobody and pulled up out of where I couldn't see his hand and set the shot, sawed off shotgun on the counter. Well, the place pretty much cleared out, but very quietly. And I got up under, <laughs> under the, the thing, hoping that not everybody would leave. So if he shot that way, I, I would go the other way. But he was so drunk, he could barely get it up and, uh, you know. He could barely put it on the table, but, um, oh, you just move it. That's what does it. Oh, if you move it again, it goes away. Um, anyways, so yeah, I quit. <laughs> it was basically right there, right then, I quit. And they called the cops, and I was out of there as the cops were coming in. <laughs> True story, unfortunately. Okay, now I saw a thing about pet pet cemetery. This has a couple. It's got a couple. I uh, who signed this in such a way? Oh, it's a fan art collection titled "Pets." Has been sand hand signed, sand signed, hand signed by artist Deed D E D. For the BAM horror box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Uh, now the, I, I looked and there's two variations. The blue variation, of course, is the normal one. Mine, you couldn't even tell is blue. I guess you could. Pictures of blue. Yeah. 
And the red one, there's only 500 of, and maybe they actually got an autograph. This is the autograph I got. Two X's in a head around. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, yeah. Why did I order this box again when the other one was so good? Okay. So now. I'm looking at this because I know this is something good. Vampirella Dynamite, number three. Vampirella. Paul, Paul Cornwell and Jimmy Broxton. Could be, I guess. Vampirella. Could be what? Could be what? I don't know what it is. I know exactly what it is, Bill. It's a comic book based on Vampirella, who that doesn't is not even that. And it's called Dynamite, and it's number three. How come I always get the number three, four, five, twenty-five? I never get the Ow! Really? Is this really happening right now? Sit down. You know what? Right now, I want to go back to my mama. And that's pretty sad. I got a pin. Bumblebee? Somebody smarter than I, please. I know my horror movie's pretty good, but this one's just from the fly? No, because that's a bee. Clearly a bee. What's the little hook on the tail? I'm sure it's something simple that I can't think of because my mind is going back to that night with the sawed-off shotgun. How do I know it was sawed-off? Because it was smaller than it was supposed to be. Much smaller. What? Ah! All right, that's what I need. Who is, who's this signed by? Oh, we have a butcher knife. <laughs> Are we supposed to have a butcher knife? And Chefcraft, manufactured by Chefcraft Corporation. This is actually a real butcher knife. It's a seven inch knife. Uh, Catulo para can canasareri. And car carna seria. It's to cut meat. But who's it signed by? We'll have to see that on our thingy. What the hell? That would be nice. I'll wear that around. You're not touching it. Oh, and it has um, a BAM authentication. It's authentic. My number is A, capital A, 19011. That's actually pretty cool. Anything else? Oh, here it is. This knife has been hand signed by Twisty Troy James, who played Pretzel Jack in Channel Zero. Oh! oh Channel Zero. Wait, Pretzel Jack? The Dream Door. Oh, this is the Dream Door. We didn't watch that one no, so much. No. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM Horror Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. You know what? If you haven't watched any of the Channel Zeros, that they're on um, Sci-Fi? I think so. It's either Sci-Fi, FX, Sundance, one of those crazy peoples that watch them. I don't mean you're crazy. It's the kettle calling the pot black but anyways um it, they're good and they're based on creepy pot on um creepy pastas so yeah worth it okay and i bet you that is all because that is a lot wait a minute wait a minute you know i'm pretty sure the knife probably was supposed to go in here because 
hard. Yeah, because I don't think a knife is supposed to be fly. I mean, I could have reached in and... No, I couldn't. When I pulled that knife out, you could have probably knocked me over with a feather. <laughs> I was like, no, this will not protect me from a sawed-off shotgun. That will do it on the bear. No. Zombies. No. Who said you, can't, you shouldn't bring a knife to a gunfight? What's it? 24 inch rule? <laughs> as long as I stay 24 inches away from you, I should be able to get you with my knife. I can't remember. 12 inch rule? Yeah, 12 inch rule, because they probably can't shoot. I'll have to look it up. I seen it on Criminal Minds. Everything on Criminal Minds is new. You know, am I actually paying? Come back here. Am I actually paying for this paper? Apparently so. All right. Well, you know, it really wasn't a bad box. The knife, of course, um, is awesome. We started watching Dream Door, and we didn't like it. Remember, it's the one with the house? Yeah, we didn't see too many of them. No, because few, it, and it didn't... I don't know why we stopped. It just didn't pique my interest. We saw the first one, which was really good, about a kid who's... Was the second, I think. No, the second one was... Was it the house? Yeah, it was the house. Or it was one we didn't bother watching. But it, it's a good show and, and worth a uh, look if you if you like that kind of thing. And who doesn't? I just wish I knew what the heck this was about. I feel like I should. Is it sail on the card or sheet? Oh, it'll say on the sheet. All I have to do is find the sheet. And I started throwing things. Ah, here's the sheet. Can you possibly step in and help me? Okay, so, oh! Of course I should have known that. Candyman. Ah. Uh. All about the bees. It is. It's all about the bees. <laughs> Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Oh, number the number one was Elvira. Ooh, that would have been a nice one again. You know what the heck? I've got number three, and mine's Vampirella, Vampira, Vampirella. Vampirella. I don't see yours. Then I don't either. We are excited to have Dynamite Comics back in the horror box. You will receive a comic from franchises including Elvira, Evil Ernie, Vampirella, Army of Darkness, and more. Oh, okay. So it, it's just a different comic book. It's okay. If I give it to Alondra, she likes that kind of thing. So that's what the pen is. What the the pen is the bees that were inside of Candyman. Candyman, Candyman. Uh, something dead is better. This month we feature artist Dead. He he probably means it to say dead, but it's D E D deed. But I don't know. It could be either way. So dead. For the first time in the horror box, he has our favorite signature. He has our favorite signature to date in such a unique art style. It's a face with X's. My granddaughter could have that. You should see her signature on her, on her paintings that look like a combination of Warhol and Pollock. But they're good. Uh, spoiler sheet. Bam box. Oh, I would love that. 
So you can enter to win in our trading community, the bandbox.com forward slash community. Win this Tony Todd signed Candyman 11 by 14 photo. I've had a hug by Tony, Tony Todd. I was going around asking the guys, <laughs> asking the guys if, um, if, uh, if zombies were cannibals. Even got to ask George Romero, who was there. It was a Fangoria, one of their very last uh, conventions. And his, Mr. Romero's answer was, of course they're not cannibals. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I didn't even ask Tom Savini because, or Savani, whatever his name is, because he's just an old grump. There, I said it. I could say other things, but a hug from Tony and Todd was pretty good. You were there. Are we at work? I don't know. That's probably why I got the hug. Probably. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have... We don't have a closing song. We actually didn't even have an opening song. But I think we're going to do a duet. Of, I don't know. I'm just do it, do it, do it. Oh Jesus! Okay, <laughs> we gotta go. I am the funkaholic. I'm the funkaholic too. And we the half down here. She is chewing my hair. And we say, hasta la vista, baby.